Hey guys, Marissa at KitchenTablesTamper.com. Today I've got this cute little cocoa packet for you. It's a little belly band slides out and inside fits a little Swiss Miss cocoa packet. All right, let me show you the pieces that you need to recreate this project at home. Um, in here, oh, and by the way, I do have an extra kit all cut and ready to go. So if you go by to kitchentablestamper.com and you leave your comments underneath this video in the post, I might be sending you a lucky winner, one of these kits already ready to go. Okay, so I've got a Swiss Miss cocoa packet here, kind of a standard size. What I did was I took some crumb cake cardstock, and this is 10 inches by three and five eighths inches, and I scored it at five inches. So it's five by three and five eighths. And what we're gonna do is emboss the front of this. I've got the cable knit embossing folder from Stampin' Up. I'm going to put the front of this into the embossing folder. And you wanna use your regular platform for this, not the magnetic one, and a cutting pad and run that through the Big Shot. Okay, so that has been run through the Big Shot and look at that beautiful texture that we've got there. Okay, so fold that up and you just tuck your cocoa packet inside. I went ahead and just folded down the top there a tiny bit. Okay, next up I have the belly band and that is a piece of the Candy Cane Lane Designer Series paper. It's 10 inches or 10 and a half inches by one and a half inches and I scored it at five and a quarter. What I'm gonna do is get my triple banner punch here. Love this thing. Slide that in until you can see the ends. It's already folded. I'm doing both at one time. Pop those out. There it is. All right, now we'll set that aside, we'll assemble in just a minute. I also have a piece of Whisper White cardstock. It's two and a quarter by about five inches. And I have a piece of Whisper White that is half an inch by five inches. And then just a scrap of Real Red. I'm going to stamp my little gingerbread dude here using Early Espresso ink. Let me show you something here. Okay, so I'm using the um, Cookie Cutter Christmas Gingerbread Dude and the Cookie Builder Punch. Now, if you see, the Cookie Builder Punch has heads up. So when you slide the paper in, you want his head up close to the bottom of the paper to get the most convenient, easiest use of your cookie builder punch. Okay, so stamp our little guy. Notice how he's pretty close to the bottom. And I'm going to put him into the punch. See, easy, right side up, no problem. Punch. There he is. And next, the sentiment from that same stamp set, Cookie Cutter Christmas. I'm ink up in early espresso and stamping about a half an inch or so from the end. Okay, let's stamp the little bow tie. I don't have a real red ink pad yet, so I'm just using a little Versa. Mark ink here on a real red scrap with the little bow tie image. And it just creates a watermark. So we get a little darker image on the cardstock. And punch out my little bow. Now, I'm going to save that little button and the little bow Push aside these other scraps, and I want one more little button, so put my punch down. And punch a second button. There it is. Okay, so we're gonna decorate our little dude here. I've got the buttons, so I'm gonna add a little liquid glue. 
and a bow tie. There he is, he's all dressed up. Okay. Now to finish this, what we're going to do is grab a little super sticky adhesive here. Got some sticky strip. And I'm going to tuck my cocoa into the packet, slide my belly band all the way around, get that nice and tight. And I'm going to take that sticky strip and put it right along the edge so that it doesn't touch the crumb cake, but it's nice and close. Okay, so we've assembled our little gingerbread boy. Let's put some 3D foam adhesive on the back of him. I'm going to keep it in the center here because his head and his legs hang over and we do not want to glue our belly band so it doesn't slide. We got some of that and before we adhere him down, let's add this sentiment. I'm going to put a little snail adhesive. I'm going to trim the end of the sentiment to match the banner. Line it up where I like it. And glue it down. All right, I'm off the edge just a little bit there, so I'll trim the excess. I want to embellish with a button. I've got a little brown button here and some natural twine. I'm going to thread the ends through the buttonholes. Got a bitty little bow on there. Okay, those tails are too long. We'll trim them. Grab a glue dot. Add that one at the very end. And our little gingerbread boy. And there they are. Isn't that fun? All right, if you've got any questions about this hot cocoa packet, if there's anything I can do for you, email me, marissa at kitchentablestamper.com. Thanks for watching.